Hello, I'm Tom Mason. Welcome back to this After Effects tutorial series. We are creating a lower third. Um, go back and watch the last two videos if you haven't seen them already. It will get you up to speed with what we're trying to create and what we've created so far. Uh, I've talked a little bit about expressions. We've created this sort of text box thing. Um, but now, today, we're going to make it look a bit prettier, okay? Sometimes when you make an After Effects, you want to go straight in with making it look beautiful. I tend to make it work first and then make it a bit prettier um, you know, gradually over the course of the creation of the content. Um, but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do some um, pertification. Is that a word? I don't know. Um, and we're going to use the essential graphics. So uh, the essential graphics is, has gone from the last episode. Uh, ah, it's because it's moved. So I'm going to put that in there. There we go. I'm going to call that name. And we're going to rename it to person's name. I'd, I'd done that in the last episode, so that's if you don't know what that was just there, go back and watch that. Um, so, I'm going to go with the colour. We want to change the colour um, of this text box. Uh, so, I'm going to do that within this control layer, just to keep everything really straightforward um, and really neat. Because you, you can do it other ways, but doing it this way, it means that we're going to keep everything in line. It's like we're doing it in folders and we know where everything is going to be kept. So, to create this colour, we're going to go into Effects and Presets, and we're going to search for colour. Uh, with a, without a U, because it's colour control, there we go, that's what we want. So, the, this colour control, you see it's just called an expression control. We're going to drag that on, and what that is, is just a colour controller, right? This colour can be whatever you want, right? You can make it whatever colour you want. Great. But it doesn't do anything, because it's just on a null object, and null objects don't have any shape, they don't have any size, they're, they're, they're just null, it's zero. Um, so why did I do that? Well, because I can do this, I can go into this colour controller, and I can drag it onto here, okay, essential graphics. We now have a colour controller within the essential graphics, great, that's a pretty good start. Um, but how does that impact this name. Well, if we go onto this name field, uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split up the timeline. I'm going to click and drag this away, and I'm going to drag it over here, and it will split the timeline. So we now have two timelines, okay? And what I'm going to do is go to this name box, um, and uh, we've got the fill here, okay? The fill is the colour, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, alt-click on the um, colour, I'm going to drag this little pick whip tool, it looks like a little spiral, I'm going to drag that over to here and point it at this colour, okay? Did that do anything? There we go, it's done it, took a little bit of time. Um, so now, what that's doing is it's saying, you know the colour on this name box? Yeah, well just make it whatever the colour is over here, okay? The pick whip is just saying, Look at that thing before and just copy that. So now when we change this colour, it changes with us, okay? So although what this colour is doing is just changing the colour field in the control layer, what it's actually also doing is it's telling this layer to just copy it, okay? So now we've got a control. and the, So the reason we do that is to keep it neater. Now we could have just grabbed this and dragged this straight in, but that can get a bit messy because later on we're going to want another text field and it's you know linking together it, it gets a bit complicated so uh let's just delete that one um so we, we keep it as a single color field in the control layer and we map everything to the control layer rather than mapping to itself and other things because if we now move this into a different um you know a different composition we lose the where the color is Whereas this control layer is always going to stay in this forge lower third. That's where it's going to be. Uh, we can now grab that back and put it back over there. Cool. So we're starting to get there. We've, we've, we've now got it in a position where it can be like the color can be changed. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is create a um, an outline thing. We're going to start to animate this now. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate name box. Okay. The reason I'm going to do that is because it's already got that thing where it scales depending on the size of the uh, the text. 
Okay. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go into this duplicated one. Uh, well, the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the fill, right? Get rid of that completely. I'm going to also turn off the name box underneath so I can just see this. And I'm going to increase the stroke a little bit. Maybe not that much. I'm going to increase it to about five. How does that look? We can't really see. Let's make it a darker color then. We will make it, yeah, just a red. Why not? There we go. Cool. That looks quite nice. Um, and we want this to be scaled up a little bit. So if we go into the contents, we go into rectangle path. Um, and we look at that size. Now, we set this little thing before. Um, but we want it to be bigger than this text box. Otherwise, it just looks like it's exactly on it. We want it to be slightly bigger, and it's going to sort of animate around. It's going to it's gonna do like a animation thing. You'll, you'll see. Um, but essentially, we want it a little bit bigger so there's a gap. Well, so why don't we just do like add 120? That's a little bit bigger. And we can like even move the whole thing. Oh, I'm trying to move the wrong thing. We move the whole thing that way. In fact, I'm going to make it slightly bigger again. Uh, so 150. There we go. Uh, and then let's move it a little bit further that way. Great. So now it starts and ends slightly either side. And then we can scale it up a little bit more. So instead of 200, let's do 225. And again here, 225. And now we're going to move it a little bit more. Great, that looks really good. So that's either side, and you, we can zoom in a little bit if we want to. Okay, I might do a little bit more than 225. I'm going to do, uh, let's do 235. 235. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. And move it up slightly more that way a little bit. So it looks pretty even all the way around. Okay, great. Now, Something to test now that we've done that is what happens if we change this person's name and make it longer. That's good. It's still it's still going all the way around. And what happens if we make it nothing, like shorter than the thing? Ah, okay. So it's not quite worked there. So what do we need to do there? We need to um, add on the length. So instead of 900 here, we've added. we need to add on another 50, right? So 950 is what we need. That's it. Uh, and now let's try and type in, so uh, longer, oh, not quite, what's happened there? So that's, the length is, um, do we need x plus, oh, it's because it's it looking if it's that long, so it needs to actually be if x is less than 950, so there we go. Um, and now let's try a slightly shorter, let, yeah, that's good, and long, long. Great, that looks good. Um, so, it's a bit of trial and error there to make it work, but um, yeah, I could have done it correct properly the first time, but there we go. Um, the next thing we're going to do is map the colour. So the colour here, um, we're going to do that thing again when we split the screen. We're going to grab this, we're going to alt-click, and we're going to pick-whip it to there. So now, when it works, yeah, that outline is the same as whatever we picked this to be. Great. Uh, and I'm going to now make it a little bit bigger. I reckon 9. Yeah, 9 looks pretty good. Um, okay, great. Now, the next thing, this is what's going to make it look really great. We're going to add on something called trim paths. Okay, that's great. And if it ever gets a bit too crazy like this, just uh, select everything and press U, and it will like collapse it all down. Uh, and now we can go and find that trim paths. So here we go. So what trim paths does is it just like, you can see it's like moving around. Um, it will like trim the path to a certain percent. So if we want like 50% of the way around, it will go from this corner to this corner. That's like halfway round, right? I don't think I explained that very well, but y y it doesn't need explaining. You can see what it's doing. So what I want it to do is I want it to start here and animate round to here or do I want it to start in this maybe start in this corner go up there 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 um yeah I think that'll look good or do we just want it to start here and go there there and then have another one go there there yeah let's do that so we're going to have it start here which is zero and we're going to have it end at 50 so we'll start with 
0, do a keyframe here and here, we'll go to, oh, let's zoom in a little bit, yeah to about 25 frames in, create another keyframe there and there and we'll have it at 50 and this one at 50. Okay, so that won't do anything because they're both moving at the same time. But if we now shift it a little bit, you can see, let's let's animate that. Great. And in fact, let's move these out a little bit, slow it down. Okay, and let's move that one out. Okay, bit slow. Let's move them both that way a little bit more. Move that one in. How does that look? Great, and I'm going to select it all and do F9 to easy ease the keyframes, okay, that you see they've changed, and what that's going to do is just make it a bit smoother. That looks nice. Maybe bring this one in a bit more. Oh, it's a bit too fast now. Let's move that back. That's too slow now. So you just have to go backwards and forwards until you find something that looks about right. So let's do that. Let's loop that around and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. And I can imagine if we turned that off and we turned that off, you know, this is the start of the animation now. So it's going to do that and then it's going to animate in. Okay? It's going to animate the text box afterwards. So we're going to start with that. Da da da. Oh, made it a bit too. Yeah, nice, nice orangey red. There we go. Cool. That looks really good. Turn on that. Turn on that. That's how it looks. Great. Uh, let's rename this to Outlines. Outlines 1, we'll call it. And I'm going to duplicate it. So we've got an Outlines 2. They're both now doing the same thing. But this one, what we want it to do is we're going to um, select it. Press Y. And I want to... Uh, actually, I think that might work. Although the... No, what we're going to do is we're going to hold Y and we're going to move that to there. So that's moved the anchor point and now we can rotate the whole thing by 180 degrees. And now when it animates, yeah, that's good. So they both animate at the same sort of time, one on top and one on the bottom. Uh, we're actually just going to move this one up a little bit though. Um, and let's zoom in. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and you know what? I'm also going to add on some motion blur. So I'm going to add motion blur to everything and I'm going to turn it on. And now let's see how that looks. A bit slow, but it's just because it's trying to render. Uh, let's see it again. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Um, so we did it one side. We flipped it over, did it the other side as well. That's how we do trim paths and that's how we make it look a little bit more pretty. Um, we're getting there. We've got quite a way to go, but it's it's getting there. It's looking a lot better now, um, and we actually have some animation going on. So I will see you in the next video where we're going to keep on making it look pretty, and we're going to animate in the actual text. Thank you very much for watching.